afternoon and thank you for that warm welcome. But don't take this period of time warm too seriously. After all, we want to have a cool celebration for the winter carnival. With all the temperatures cold enough to sustain the ice carvings, the snow sculptures, and even the snow. And I think we've started it out quite well today, probably the coldest day of the year so far, so we thank you for coming to this warm celebration. Boreas and the royal family rule over the St. Paul for one week in January. The rest of the year, the city is led by Mayor Chris Coleman. Although Mayor Coleman is not able to be here today, he sends his official greetings through this message that I will read to you. As mayor of St. Paul, I would like to extend the city's participation and appreciation for the hard work all the great candidates have done in their bid for the crown. I do want to congratulate each individual candidate for their contribution to the community and to our wonderful St. Paul Winter Carnival. One part which makes St. Paul the most livable city in America is its rich and long-standing traditions, as well as the people who make up our unique, diverse, and successful community. Again, I want to thank you for your individual achievements, and I hope you cherish the spirit of community, of service, and fun that the Winter Carnival reflects each year. I wish you an enjoyable time at the coronation and success in all your future endeavors. Signed, Christopher B. Coleman, Mayor, City of St. Paul. As you know, the Winter Carnival has a long and storied tradition of 127 years. What you may not know is that the senior royalty began their tradition over 50 years ago. The senior royalty program has come a long way since its humble beginnings in the 1950s. The modern day senior royal court participates in parades, makes appearances at schools, senior residences, public events, entertains at care centers and senior clubs and has face-to-face -face contact with thousands of people. The 2012 court, court participated in 20 parades and made 91 appearances, mingling with thousands of people during their time and during their reign. Soon we'll be greeting the 2012 court. We welcome them to these proceedings and welcome all of you again. Before we bring them in, let us set the stage for their arrival. Will the royal gift bearers please come forward with the trappings and regalia befitting a coronation? Sakola Hikori. Camelia Hikori. Wakiela Hikori. Brady Fitzgerald, Ella Fitzgerald, McKenna Flaherty, Emma Pierce, Jacob Pierce, and Samaria Whitner Wright. King Boreas, ruler of the Winter Carnival and overseer of all winds and territories they cover, relies upon his senior rulers to up oversee this vast domain. All rise and welcome the reigning senior rulers of the realm of Boreas. King Winter the 54th, Pete Cagle and Queen of the Northlands, Ingeborg Ritt. It is my pleasure to welcome the Prime Minister to the Court of Boreas, who will formally introduce the 2012 Royal Family.
from the Royal House of Lorenz Bus Company and the Apple Valley Campgrounds, His Excellency Steve Granz. gentlemen at this time sergeant assemble the guard Sergeant of the Guard. Sergeant of the Guard from the Royal House of Jimmy's Food and Drink and Apsey Entertainment, Sergeant Greg Apsey. Our East Wind Guard from the Royal House of Ace Laser Technology, Technology and Northern Prairie Financial, Donnie the Hooch Apets. Our South Wind and Pillow Guard from the Royal House of Fury Motors of South St. Paul and Lake Elmo and DK Grief Consulting, Sammy Worms. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the Wind Brothers and Princesses of the Royal House, or the Realm of Boreas, beginning with the mysterious and mischievous East Wind from the Royal House of St. Paul Association of Realtors, Keep coming up here, I don't trust them. You'll probably take every nickel in the house. Mr. Pat Igo. And Pat escorted our Northwind Princess from the Royal House of Grand Spectacle, Gina Werner. And from the West, the wild, wild west, where all the wind comes from. From the Royal House of FFP Wealth Management and JJ Temp Control, our west wind, Mr. Dave Winda. And the hot and spicy one. The guy that brought the temperatures that everybody wished we had today, this summer, from the Royal House of Uptech Partners, Mr. Chuck Scheffler. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed an honor and a privilege for me to introduce to you the mighty monarch of ice and snow, the true king of the Winter Carnival, from the Royal House of Rosen Diversified and Dakota Premium Food, Boreas Rex 76, Steve Cortinez. <laughs> Greetings from the frosty realm. <laughs> Looks like we're kicking off the carnival in fine style this year. Um, things are not gonna be melting out there, I don't think. Thank you for allowing us to come and participate in this grand spectacle. And uh, we've had such a great time with the seniors this year in all the parades and all. Uh, as he's mentioned, though, our Southland was working overtime because it was a hot summer. So I think things being equal, we're going to have a cold winter. Uh, but thank you for allowing us to be part of this. Before I go too much further, I want to introduce you to Aurora, Queen of the Snows, from the Royal House of Rice Street Festival, Ashley Hayes. Hail the Queen! 
Thank you, Boreas. It truly is an honor to be here today and be here to welcome in a new senior royalty court. We did have just a wonderful time with last year's senior royalty as they joined us in several parades throughout the year. So it's always great to show every side of the Winter Carnival celebration with the juniors and our seniors and it really completes the family to have all of us together. So thank you for joining us throughout the year and we really look forward to all of you coming to the 127th Winter Carnival celebration as it kicks off here starting on Thursday. That is just amazing. So thank you very much. And now remain standing, please, as we welcome the senior rulers of the realm of Boreas. King Winter the 54th, Pete Cagle, and Queen of the Northlands, Ingeborg Ritt. <laughs> accompanied by the Prime Minister Frank Gurney and the lady-in-waiting Bonnie Ripple. <laughs> Prince of the Four Winds, Nick Charles, and the Princess of the Four Winds, Marcy Milinarczyk. <laughs> Joining us today from the winter playgrounds of the realm of Boreas, our distinguished guests who are seated in our audience. Would they please rise and be recognized as their names are announced. From the St. Paul City Council, representing Ward 6, Council Member Dan Bostrom. <laughs> representing Ward 3, Council Member Chris Tolbert. From the St. Paul Department of Parks and Recreation, year-round sponsor and coordinator of senior royalty, please welcome Director, Manager of Recreation Services, Gwen Peterson. <laughs> From the St. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation, proud producers of the 2013 St. Paul Winter Carnival, please welcome President and CEO, Beth Pinckney. Chairman of the Board, Bob Hughes. <laughs> Festival and Cabinet Chairs, Rob and Amy Mousey. <laughs> and the new CEO of the St. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation, Roseanne Bump. <laughs> who will be officially taking her office in May. 
Beth Pinckney, please stand. The 2013 Winter Carnival would be the final coolest celebration on earth for Beth Pinckney in her position as CEO. Beth will be stepping down from her post. The St. Paul Parks and Recreation Senior Program would like to extend our sincere gratitude for all of your support with the senior royalty. <laughs> Beth, we wish you well in your position. Beth is moving to work with the 2015 Summer, Inter or Summer National Senior Games that will be held in St. Paul, Minneapolis, Bloomington, and the University of Minnesota. Thank you, Beth, for all your hard work. We'll miss you. But remember to come back each year. Our sister city of Minneapolis has sent members of their senior royalty alumni organization. We are grateful for their support and for the cooperative agreement between our two festivals. Would the Minneapolis Aquatennial Senior Alumni please stand and be recognized? I think they figured it might be too cold today, so they're going to stay in and remember the Aquatennial days. Also present today are members of the Cameo Club and royalty from the various St. Paul neighborhood festivals. Would those individuals please stand? As was mentioned earlier, the theme for today's event centers around the history, volunteerism, and dedication to Winter Carnival. The St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty could not exist without the dedication of our Senior Royalty Alumni Association. Many of them are here in the audience today. As they are introduced, would the Senior Royalty Alumni in attendance please stand and be recognized. From the court of 1990, King Winter the 32nd, John Montour. From the court of 1992, Lady in Waiting, Lois Hansen. From the court of 1993, Princess of the Four Winds, Bert Wolf. From the court of 1994, Lady in Waiting, Mary Nord, Prime Minister Einar Nordstrom, and Queen of the Northlands, Lois Hansen. From the court of 1995, Queen of the Northlands, Marlene Mirth. From the court of 1996, Queen of the Northlands, Diane Winkler. From the court of 1997, Queen of the Northland, Bert Wolf, and King Winter the 39th, Einar Nordstrom. From the court of 1999, Lady in Waiting, Marine Chemin. From the court of 2001, Princess of the Four Winds, Colleen Charles. From the court of 2002, Prime Minister Gary Fink. And from the court of 2003, Prime Minister Roy Halverson and Queen of the Northlands, Ellen Giles. From the court of 2005, Princess of the Four Winds, Dorothy Drake. Prince of the Four Winds, Dennis Solstrom, Queen of the Northlands, Gwendolyn Jefferson, and King Winner the 47th, Les Algor. From the court of 2006, Prime Minister Edward Ernreiter. And from the court of 2007, Lady in Waiting, Beverly Ogilvie, and King Winner the 49th, Bill Kaiser. From the court of 2008, 
Lady-in-Waiting Jackie Whitner, and Queen of the Northlands, Colleen Charles. From the court of 2009, Princess of the Four Winds, Kathy Reimer, Lady-in-Waiting Dorothy St. Marie, Prime Minister Ron Meyer, and Queen of the Northlands, Sharon Meyer. Now from the court of 2010, Princess of the Four Winds, Joanne Johnson, Prince of the Four Winds, Tim Gagliardi, Lady-in-Waiting, Celeste Gagliardi, Prime Minister Lou Michael. And we also have Queen of the Northlands, Peggy Ann Fang, Fang and King Winter the 52nd, Gary Fink. From the court of 2011, Princess of the Four Winds, Barbara Ellinger, Prince of the Four Winds, Terry Ford, Prime Minister Edward Budge, Queen of the Northlands, Marilyn Anderson, and King Winner the 53rd, Roger Schwinghammer. <laughs> Our sincere thanks and appreciation is extended to all members of the senior royalty. Our distinguished panel of judges are also present to confirm their selection of the new monarchs. Please join me in thanking Gary Fink, Linda Flynn, Marcus Mathias, John Montour, Bill Kaiser, Diane Winkler, and Beverly Wittgenstein. <laughs> Many illustrious reigning courts have also witnessed these royal proceeders. Proceeding. Let this assembly pay tribute to these dignitaries. From the junior realm of Boreas, Queen of the Snowflakes, Becca Diffle. <laughs> Princess of Ice, Libby Girling, and Princess of Snow, Tessa Quam. Our neighboring city of Minneapolis pays honor to this illustrious court by sending their Aquitennial senior royalty. Please welcome senior Commodore Bruce Humphreys and senior queen Judy Harding. They are accompanied by senior Vice Commodore Terry Hoppenrath and Princess Denise Yuk. Also in attendance today is Miss Minnesota U.S. International 2013, Afton Kelsa. The theme for the Winter Carnival, as you know, is the coolest celebration on earth. Some of the coolest celebrations of carnival that may come to you to mind in mind to you are the Grand Day Parade, the Torchlight Parade, the Vulcans and their fire trucks, the King's Guard as they march, the winds and their lovely princesses, and let's not forget the Royal Court Coronation of Boreas Rex and Aurora Queen of Snows. But possibly the most distinctive celebration of carnival belongs to our wonderful Klondike Cates. Please welcome the Klondike Cates as they raise their voices, our spirits, and possibly their skirts a bit.
Hello. Here we go. I think they, oh, it's taped on. Holy cow. This is, this is where, that means I can't wander around and kiss anybody's forehead oh. till later. I've unwound myself. I'll take care of that part. Hang on. It is my honor to introduce to you our freshly sashed and sassy Klondike Kate for 2013, Anita Mack. Please welcome her. And I thought it would be fun if you got to hear a little bit of why she got that sash. And in honor of our kind of cruddy weather, I'm going to sing a little song about the sun. The sun contains a ray. They label vitamin D. If you like vitamin D, it's quite all right with me. But I am here to say that I like vitamin love. And you can't get vitamin love with that doggone sun above. I don't care if the sun don't shine. I get my loving in the evening time when I'm, I'm with my baby. It's no fun with the sun around, but I get going when the sun goes down and I, I meet my baby. That's when we kiss and kiss and kiss and then we kiss some more. Don't ask how many times we kiss, cause at a time like this, keep score. I don't care if the sun don't shine. I get my loving anytime when I'm with my baby. We're going to do one more and, and this one, some of you just may know some of the words and so you can feel free to sing along. She's just learning most of them so uh, and we'll forgive her for another maybe day. Like maybe 12 hours. You ready? Yep. Boom, boom, gonna take a sentimental journey. Boom, gonna set my mind at ease. Boom, boom, gonna take a sentimental journey. Boom, to relive all memories. I got my bag. I got my bag. I got my destination. I spent each time I could afford. And while anticipation, I long to hear that all aboard. Seven, seven. That's the time we leave at seven. Seven. I'll be waiting up for heaven. Heaven. Counting every mile of railroad track. That takes me back. None at all. My heart would be so yearning. Why did I decide to roam? I'm gonna take a sentimental journey. Sentimental journey home. And that was some great. All of a sudden, I'm like, there's a piano. It's wonderful. Thank you for jumping in. Thank you, ladies. We'll be bringing them back a little bit later on to give some advice to our candidates. King Winter has continued the time-honored tradition of sending their loyal senior alumni subjects in search of worthy successors to his throne. At this time, His Majesty would like to present these hopeful successors. Please welcome our candidates. Lady Caron Menard, escorted by Lady Amy Schwangstu. Caron graduated with a master's degree in psychology on December 12, 2012. She worked as a nurse gerontologist in Hawaii. In his spare time, she enjoys walking, reading, dancing, and singing. Caron volunteers developing proposals for seniors needing support at the West 7th Community Center. Energy is what she has, and she enjoys sharing it with everybody.
Deputy Jerry Schultz and Sir Douglas Larson. Jerry has retired from the Ottawa's Owners Insurance Company. She enjoys traveling and has been in every state in the United States except Hawaii. In the summer, you'll find her outside her garden, and every chance she has, she's at the lake fishing. She has traveled from Alaska to Oregon on a road trip with her grandson. She has two beautiful daughters, two wonderful son-in-laws, and five outstanding grandchildren. Jerry volunteers at St. John's Hospital every Wednesday, and also with the Lakeshore Players in White Bear Lake. Doug is retired from the U.S. Postal Service. He enjoyed gardening, home repair, ice fishing, and repairing and refinishing old furniture. Doug is a veteran and was in the same platoon as three of his siblings. He is a volunteer bone marrow donor and blood donor and is a life member of the Purple Heart Group. Lady Lee Chavelle and Sir Randy Berger. Lee's family has a history of public service and she hopes to continue that as a member of the 2013 Senior Royalty. Lee's father was a legislator from 1950 to 1960 and went on to be the Executive Secretary for Governor Cole Rolvog. Lee herself has worked in both public and private sector endeavors. She has two wonderful children and one grandson. One of her goals includes equity for all. She enjoys singing and entertaining for others. Randy spent 30 years working in the computer field. He now enjoys playing the guitar and writing songs. He is a spiritualist Reiki master and an ordained minister with the Universalist Church of Christ. He shares his love of entertaining, running an open mic in Hampton, Minnesota. In his spare time, he delivers Meals on Wheels, promotes church and community dinners, and helps with fundraisers for the homeless. <laughs> Lady Barbara Ellinger, escorted by John Rickey. Barbara's a retired state of Minnesota worker. She is very active and enjoys ballroom dancing, photography, sports, music, travel, and exercise. She enjoys sharing her retirement with her two sisters, her brother-in-law, three nephews, one niece, and one grandniece. Currently, she is secretary of the Midwest Polka Association. She enjoys sharing her time working with challenging youth and bring hopes and cheers to patients who are undergoing heart surgery. Next we have Lady Patricia Richardson, escorted by Michael Heyman. <laughs> Pat was born in Kinsale, County Cork, Ireland. She still enjoys working as a, in it, and is the owner of two Subway restaurants. Pat has celebrated 52 years of marriage, has seven daughters and 17 grandchildren. Her grandchildren keep her on the go attending all their special events. She is the oldest of 11 siblings and enjoys volunteering at the Irish Fair held on Harriet Island and of course the St. Patrick's Day Parade. <laughs> Lady Carol Fish and Sir David Forsell. Carol enjoys reading, gardening, keeping house, teaching. She is employed by the Minneapolis Public Schools. Her first experience after graduating was working in the Atlanta School District. Missing the snow, she came back to Minnesota. She had volunteered as a Girl Scout leader, as a church catechist, and hosting a delegate from Kenya. David was born in the icebox of the nation, International Falls, Minnesota. He has six children, 15 grandchildren, and one great-granddaughter. He is an active volunteer at the local food shelf 
working with Parks and Recreation, coaching youth, and being a scout leader. He enjoys fishing, boating, and skiing. <laughs> Lady Jackie Whitner, escorted by Sir Todd Whitner. Jackie served in the United States Army and was employed by the St. Paul School District and now enjoys being retired. She has a difficult time trying to figure out how to get all, all, all those activities into her schedule. Her hobbies include sewing, fishing, downhill skiing, cooking, road trips, and debating any issue. She loves Western attire and yes, the boots to go along with it. She loves horses, she rides bareback, and can break and train any horse. Jackie enjoys her family and grandchildren. Volunteering is a must and includes the Lutheran Social Services, Catholic Charities, and Operation Glass Slipper. She is a member of the Winter Carnival Ambassadors Group, past senior royalty, and is treasurer for the Senior Royalty Alumni Association. Sir Everett Budge, escorted by Judy Budge. <laughs> Everett retired from Lifetrack Resources. In his free time, he enjoys volunteering at his church's food shelf, working on the computer, playing cards, hand and foot, going to the casino, and many vacations in the five state area. He enjoys spending time with his grandchildren. To keep in touch with his family and friends, he enjoys Facebook. He celebrated his 45th wedding anniversary on December 16th. <laughs> Sir Lou Michaels, escorted by Lady Tamara Michaels. Lou is a retired individual. He loves to make people laugh and smile. His hobbies include traveling, art, music, and teaching. Although Lou is retired, he continues to work as a photographer. He volunteers taking photos for the senior program, is a past senior royalty, and is the vice president of the senior royalty alumni. Lady Celeste Gagliardi, escorted by Sir James Peterson. <laughs> Celeste enjoys clowning and bringing fun to all. She is the oldest of seven children and learned how to create stories and share them at bedtime. She now has multiple children books ready to go to the publisher. Celeste's favorite activity is in the winter is volunteering for winter carnival activities. Her knowledge of carnival is extensive and she can talk for hours about her involvement and enjoyment of winter carnival. She is currently heading up the winter carnival button sales for the Senior Royalty Alumni Association. Another talent she has. King Winter the 54th, Queen of the Northlands and their court have prepared a farewell message for this audience. Will the 2012 court please stand? King Winter the 54th, Pete Tegel and Queen of the Northlands, Ingeborg Ritt, please come to the podium. Hello, I'm Pete Kago, King Winter of the 54th, with my most fabulous court. I stand before you today with the crown on for the last time. 
When we leave here today, we will enjoy the reign of King Winter the 55th and his court. I would like to thank everyone who has made this court 2012 so perfect. The St. Paul Parks and Recreation Department, the Winter Carnival Senior Royalty and Alumni, uh, Alumni Association, and all the people who have helped us in the past year especially Belinda Bergstrom and Mary Livingston. And a very special thanks to Colleen Charles, who was there to help out with her experience. Let's have a big hand for these three very special people. We started off slow with meetings once a week. Everyone shared ideas and soon we were ready for our first show. It was at Maternity of Mary School on February 13th, 2012. We had some rough edges, but that didn't stop us from having fun and putting on a good show. We must have been done something right since they invited us back again in the fall. We then started going to nursing homes and church groups. We kept sharpening our skills. We read poetry, sang old tunes, and made some up ourselves, and we did dances. We even created a rap group. You may have heard of them. They have, been, they have become quite famous. The Rapping Grannies. In the spring, we had to figure out how we would travel in parades. That would be coming up. We knew if we used convertibles, we would need three. Princess Marcy said her son knew of a person with a trailer we could use. And Prime Minister Frank said we could use his pickup to pull a trailer. So next Saturday, we met at Frank's and we were in the float building business. Its inaugural parade was the Cinco de Mayo Parade I have a couple favorite moments I'd like to share. When we were in the Oktoberfest parade in La Crosse, Wisconsin, Marcy got tired of sitting in the car and got out and started walking the parade. It was like she was running for mayor, <laughs> shaking hands, posing for pictures. I think if there would have been some babies around, she would have kissed them. Another fun time was Hudson, Wisconsin. Queen Inga wanted to enter the spaghetti eating contest. I wasn't in favor of it. I told her if she got three others for the team, I would be a good sport and be the fourth. Well, you guessed it. I was the fourth. We had to eat a half a pound of cooked cold spaghetti with a little watery sauce added to it in two minutes. By the end of our reign, we will have knighted 107 people, put in 111 appearances, 20 of which were parades. This has got to be the best court ever. I would like to thank the Queen of the Northlands, Ingeborg Ritt, Prime Minister Frank Gurney, <laughs> Lady-in-Waiting Bonnie Ripple, Prince of the Four Winds, Nick Charles. Princess of the Four Winds, Marcy Malarchek. I love you all. But I love you best. Let's have a big hand for the 2012 Senior Carnival Court. Thank you, Pete and Ingeborg, for sharing your thoughts with us today. 
as you and the 2012 senior royalty participate in their final celebration as reigning royalty. This court has been fully prepared for the crowning of our new monarchs. Candidates, please rise and take your positions. And now, as we promised, we ask that the Klondike Cates return and entertain our candidates and you, the audience. They're cuter up in person, too. This is so already fun. cute from a distance. And pretty. Well, this time I'm going to take a little one. A couple years ago when I was Kate, of course, I was smitten with my senior royals. And those who know me know that was very true. And one of the things I did for them was create a little song. My, my senior uh, king actually brought his lovely wife Mary up and danced to it here a couple years ago. So I know you will probably know it. It's from the, it's based on the melody of a Christmas waltz. So if you feel yourself doing a little one, two, three, one, two, three, that's why. But this is for my seniors. Winter carnival, St. Paul covered with snow, our king winters here, as you know, for if his Northland queen primes on the scene, his lady in waiting aglow, the four winds embraced by a prince and princess all are wishing you nothing less than the wisdom to live lives of laughter and fun. For it's winter time, so let's hail the prime and with prince and king a friendship sing. And as you may know, we are doing our cabaret coming up this Saturday, and we'd love you to all come. But we have a little song that we're going to do from that cabaret. Indeed you, we do. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. They have a new expression, expression from up old St. Paul way that tells you when a pate is ten times more than gay to say that things are jumping leaves not a single doubt. Everything is in full swing when you hear somebody shout. Woo! Now, this joint is jumping, jumpin', really jumping. Jumpin'. Come on, cats, and check your hats. I mean, this joint is jumping. The piano's thumping, dance is bumping. This here spot is more than hot. In fact, this joint is jumping. Check your weapons at the door. Be sure to pay your porter. Burn your leather on the floor. Grab anybody's daughter. Roof is rocking, the neighbors knocking. We're all bums when the wagon comes. I mean, this joint is jumping. We're all bums when the wagon comes. I mean, this joint is jumping. Woo! I would keep going. Darcy, who was the 2009, I believe, Klondike Kate. And Anita, you're this year's 2013. We thank you for, your, for warming us up today. You can hear more of that wonderful Kate sound when all the Kates get together for the Klondike Kate Winter Carnival Cabaret, which will be on Saturday, 7 p.m. at the Double Tree by Hilton, which, at, which is at 411 Minnesota Street. Sounds like a celebration you wouldn't want to miss. Again, thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to select our new monarchs. Here to act as our Lord High Chamberlain of the court is the leader of the peacekeeping officers in this northern realm of winter. Will you please join me in welcoming the city of St. Paul's Chief of Police, Sir Tom Smith. 
Chief Smith resides on St. Paul's west side with his wife and family. He has a special compassion for this neighborhood. This is the one he grew up in. He is a graduate of Humboldt High School and is a strong supporter and board member of the neighborhood house and also volunteers at the Boys and Girls Club on the west side. Chief Smith will now assist us in selection of our new royalty. Lord Chamberlain of the Court, Chief Smith, we ask that you choose our new Prince of the Four Winds. The Prince of the Four Winds is Randall Berger. Lord Chamberlain of the Court, Chief Smith, we ask that you now choose the new Prime Minister. So fulfill your royal duty and commence with the selection of the Prime Minister. Congratulating the Prime Minister for 2013, Lou Michaels. Lord Chamberlain of the Court, Chief Smith, we need a king to rule. We ask that you choose our new king. So fulfill your royal duty and commence with the selection of King Winter the 55th.
55th is David Forsell. We now have one half of the 2013 court selected. We need a princess, a lady in waiting, and a queen to complete the court. Ladies, please step forward and take your positions. Chamberlain of the Court, Chief Smith. Our new King Winter, the 55th, has asked that you proceed to select the Princess of the Four Winds. So fulfill your royal duty and select the Princess of the Four Winds for the upcoming year. of the four winds is Patricia Richardson. And now is time to select the lady in waiting.
in waiting is Lee Chevelle. Chamberlain of the Court, Chief Smith. King Winner the 55th is eager to meet his new Queen of the Northlands. Let the selection proceed. The new Queen of the Northlands is Jackie Whitner. As their first royal act, King Winner the 55th and Queen of the Northlands have decreed that all remaining candidates and escorts become their special ambassadors to help spread the royal messages throughout the kingdom. Would the faithful ambassadors come forward and pay tribute to the new royal court?
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please join me in congratulating our senior royalty for 2013. Here to be the first celebrities to present gifts to the royal court, the loyal and royal gift bearers. Once again, please welcome Tokala Decori, Kimimila Decori, Wakiela Decori, Brady Fitzgerald, Ella Fitzgerald, McKenna Flaherty, Emma Pierce, Jacob Pierce, and Samaria Whitner Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, the Royal Accord is now complete and today's senior royalty event is about, come, is about to come to a close. Please join me in thanking pianist Sue Nelson for the wonderful music again this afternoon. Join me in a round of applause also for pages Lorraine Venice and Lori McGee. King Winner the 55th has decreed that the royal photographer be allowed on stage to take the official photos of the new court and their guests. Audience members may take photos as well, but please allow the official photos to be taken first. After the royal photographs have been taken, there will be time for those who would like to take pictures to come forward, so get your cameras ready. The Winter Carnival Senior Coronation will be broadcast on St. Paul Neighborhood Network Cable 19 Please check your program for further information. You are invited to join refreshments in the back of the room following today's festivities. The reception is provided courtesy of Pathways in the Park Senior Apartments. Thank you for attending the 2013 St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty Coronation and have a wonderful evening as we all enjoy the coolest celebration on earth. Mm -hmm.